President Biden heads to Brussels the next week for a summit with NATO leaders amid the growing concerns in Ukraine. On Friday, Mr. Biden had a high-stakes phone call with Chinese President Xi Jinping. The president made clear the consequences China could face if it gives financial assistance to Russia, its key ally. The Chinese president says he has no plans to send weapons to Russia. Scott McFarlane has the latest from the White House this morning. Scott, good morning. Michelle, good morning to you. The administration is working with other nations to step up efforts to help Ukraine one day after warning China to step back. The president left for two days in Delaware following his two-hour phone call with Chinese President Xi Jinping. Vladimir Putin has asked the Chinese for drones and economic help as Russia copes with stiff economic sanctions from the West. The White House says President Biden made clear the implication and consequences of China providing material support to Russia. China has to make a decision for themselves about where they want to stand uh, and how they want the history books to uh, look at them and view their actions. Ahead of the president's trip to Brussels, Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin visited with U.S. and NATO troops serving in Bulgaria and Slovakia on NATO's eastern flank. You were are really demonstrating what this is all about, what, what, what we need to do. In Vladimir Putin's public appearance before the flag-waving rally at a Moscow stadium, he continued his false claims that the Russian invasion was to prevent genocide. President Biden has a word for this kind of talk, malarkey. At the United Nations, a group of Western nations accused Russia of a disinformation campaign, including Russia's allegations of biological warfare labs in Ukraine. Russia has repeatedly, repeatedly accused other countries of the very violations it plans to perpetrate. We continue to believe it is possible that Russia may be planning to use chemical or biological agents against the Ukrainian people. Meanwhile, back here at the White House, the administration prepares for a big event Monday, the start of confirmation hearings for Supreme Court nominee Judge Ketanji Brown Jackson, who completed dozens of meetings with senators ahead of the start of those proceedings. Jamie? Big, big week ahead. Scott, thank you.